and welcome back to the channel on this video we're doing a video about stop signs and not stopping just slowing down yielding so the reason why I want to talk about this subject is because it comes up a lot and for the last quite a while now I've been stopping complete stops at stop signs but before that I wasn't stopping completely at all stop signs sometimes uh, you do uh, when you have to because there's cars coming in the uh, opposite direction but in the uh, state of Oregon here they adopted a new law in 2020 that says cyclists, and that includes electric bikes, do not have to stop at a stop sign. They just have to yield, slow down, and if nobody's coming, they can proceed. And the only time you have to stop is if it's a solid red light, which makes sense, a traffic light. Otherwise, you can just yield. I mean, there's there's intersections though where I come to a stop pretty much because I can't see. There could be hedges or something in the way where I can't see what's coming the other direction. Like right here is a little bit tough till you get right up to it. I can't see because there's houses there. I can almost. I gotta come almost right to the uh, stop sign and be very slow on that one. But other times you can see before you get there. The other time that's a little more difficult for me uh, seeing is if I'm wearing my motorcycle helmet. Uh, you're limited in your vision as compared to what I'm wearing now, my ex Nito uh, bike helmet. That one I could clearly see there's only one direction. So not all states have this law, but you may want to check your state laws and see if you're able to do this. Like there I can clearly see that nobody's coming. Yeah, so if you ever see in my... If you ever see in my videos where it looks like I'm not stopping or I'm not stopping at a stop sign, don't worry. First of all, I'm going to make sure nobody's coming. I don't think anybody wants to get hit by a car uh, for not stopping at a stop sign. And... And the law allows this too, like to yield. And we do have to stop on a solid red traffic light, which obviously I even, I'll stop at, uh, at every, every time and wait there until the light turns green. I don't go through the red light. But uh, also when a, it's a red flashing light, that too allows you to yield you can proceed and then another time where you're obviously going to stop is when in this case is a car right in front of me well I can't ram a car I don't want to so 
In that case, we would stop or almost stop. So like I say, check your local laws. You might have a similar law in your state, which is the yield law. Let's face it, there's lots of cars that don't stop. They slow down, but they don't stop. I'm glad that car stopped because I was riding by and they were backing up, but they did see me. So that's the law in Oregon. Stop signs are yield signs to cyclists when there's no traffic coming. Like right here, I'm going to stop. Let's go back up here. I'm going to do the I'm going to do the yield. So once again, Oregon cycling cyclist law and that would include an e-bike says yield at a stop sign when no one's coming or if no one's coming you can proceed like I'm going to do right now. Just like that. And that's the Oregon law. Yield at a stop sign. Definitely feels like fall today. The temperature's not even out of the 60s. Last I looked, when I came out, it was like 66, I think it was, or 68. That's crazy for today's date, which is the, I'm recording this on the 13th of August, Tuesday. Here we are coming up to another stop sign, and let's do the yield this one's a little tougher seeing so yeah there we go but when it's a four-way stop the other folks going the other direction have to stop but what if a case what if this case comes up though and there's an e-bike coming in both directions and we're about equal to the stop sign do we both go through it's a game of chicken what do you think about that one? Who has the right of way? And like I was saying earlier, I've seen lots of cars, even cop cars, you know, they'll slow down and proceed. They, they use the stop signs a lot of times too, like a yield. If the road's a little more busier road, then there's no way you can uh, treat it as a yield. You gotta stop, because you're not sure on busy roads, especially if it's a busy, faster road. Cars are whipping by pretty quick. 
But in this area here where the speed limit's 20 to 25, it's a lot easier to yield at the stop signs. That's going to do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much. Just hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. And if you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for supporting us. Leave a comment in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.